Humphreys. And the world record holder goes in lane for Lisette Junison. The champion in this event four years ago and reigning world champion with that world record of the 15.31. New Paralympic record just set earlier. Lane at five next to the world record holder, Nifi Peng Kuping from China. Hank Conrade, the German athlete, goes in lane number six. And lane seven is preparing there. Mexico's. Dalgarida Omonsif. Peng Kuping. Hoping to challenge the dominant Lisette Chilesen. So dominant in this event. Reigning world champion, reigning Paralympic champion, world record holder. Goes in lane number four. She's seen the Paralympic record broken, but her qualifying times another two seconds quicker than that. What could she deliver in this heat for the women's 50 backstroke? S3. Starter not quite happy with something, asking the athletes to relax. There's a 50 meter event, the start being incredibly important. World record holder goes in lane four. This is heat two of the two heats in the women's 50 backstroke S3. The officials just checking. that all the equipment has been certified. Delgadillo in lane seven for Mexico. Just having her equipment checked there. Making sure it all meets the approved standards. And now the whistle is blown prepare the athletes for the start. These are generally unnecessary delays, but I understand wanting to get everything uh, all okay. It looks like there's a nodding head going on. So the swimmers are being asked to relax. For Delgadillo, this is going to move her body in a, a prone position and I mean, she's got her jaw clamped down on on the support. Well, this could Just affect some of these swimmers more than others, depending on their in each of their impairments. Because to relax in the water might not be as easy for some as others, and it can start to cause fatigue. This a 50-meter backstroke race. It's about exploding from the start. So. They need to try and conserve as much energy as possible in this unusual delay ahead of heat number two. Some confusion amongst the coaches, I think, trying to work out quite why the athletes are being held for so long in the water. And this really could affect some of the times that get posted. It's the fastest eight that go through. So it's this could really affect heat number two in comparison to the first heat that was set off without any delays. So it seems as though Mexico's Monsif Delgadillo is having her equipment checked several times. Mexican coach trying to work out quite what's causing this delay. Well, that is now the referee's starter whistle. Sounds as though we are ready to start. 
start heat number two. The women's 50 backstroke S3, heat two of two. And after that long delay, we are away with the women's 50 backstroke S3 into her stroke very early on. Peng Q Ping of China getting a high stroke rate and alongside her, the woman to beat, Lisette Chinnison, the world record holder, struggling to stay with the fast pace being set by Peng Q Ping, People's Republic of China, who is having an incredible race so far, just behind the world record pace that's held by Tennyson. But Tennyson, the Netherlands, in lane four, not off to such a strong start as she might have hoped. Alongside her, Stamatopoulou, the Greek athlete, in third at the moment. But now, streaking ahead, it is Pen Cubing from China, who's just having a, such a strong finish. And she's going to touch ahead of the world record, the first athlete in this event to break the 50 second barrier. Pen Cubing breaks Gisette Tinnison's world record. Tinnison touching in second and Stamatopoulou third for Greece. That really is quite a shock there. The new world record for Peng Ping of China. Absolutely demolished her own personal best. Coming home now for Israel in lane one. Veronica Kurenko. Touching in seven for Israel. Well, that smile says a lot for Peng Ping. Her personal best coming into this at 52.53, and she has just broken the 50 second marker, smashing the world record. The first athlete ever to break 50 seconds. And she is looking delighted with her performance. Well, it was very impressive. But well, what was most impressive was that with 20 minutes, uh, 20 meters to go, she was still well behind that world record pace of Genesis. But the finish was so incredibly strong. And more impressive was the fact that after that unnecessary delay at the start, she was able to produce a swim that clinical and a swim of such quality. I think we're set for uh, an even quicker time come the final. Tunison has a real battle on her hands to try to upset Peg. So we'll have to see if Tunison was holding anything back in that qualifier. She was a long way off her own world record. Still touched in second. Mexico's Aceve Perez finished in fourth. And that was a very tough start for the Mexico being held for so long at the start of the event. And here's the new world record holder, Ben Cubing. And now look to recover as best she can ahead of the final here on day three. And the emotions now being let out. That was so tough that a length of time being held in that position at the start of this heat really will have affected the performance for Monsif Delgadillo. The set Tinnison will have some reflecting to do, having seen her world record well and truly beaten. Can she raise her game when it comes to the final? Really are seeing some upsets in the pool in the Olympic Aquatic Stadium. So the new world record holder topped heat number two, Peng Ping.